Hi, so I just want to come on here real quick. I'm super excited about our eyebrow, our eyeshadow palettes that just came out. I will link my website if you're interested. They're amazing. They're beautiful. They're sparkly. It's our, a little mini compact. It's great. Okay, so all that aside, um, I've been praying about this and thinking about this and whether or not I was going to do a video on where I'm going. I'll disclose where I'm going in a little bit. Um, because of uh, what it says in the Bible and, and not letting the left hand know what the right hand is doing and all of that and and the people that are going to be there are not doing it for their own glory. Um, they're doing it for God's glory and I'm not doing it for my own glory. I'm doing it for God's glory. But I prayed about it and I kept thinking about it and with August being Overdose Awareness Month and then of course September being uh, Recovery Month and me being in recovery, um, I never really told you guys uh, what I was in recovery from, which is basically everything, but I started using, um, meth IV intravenously, um, needles, uh, when I was 19, okay, and I didn't get clean and sober until I was 32. Um, there were times on and off when I was not using IV drugs, there were other IV drugs that I used, but it was primarily meth, I was a train wreck. Um, I am now not a train wreck by the glory of God and the grace of God, and people and recovery groups and uh, I have a completely different life. I'm a completely changed person and recovery is possible. Um, I can't tell you how many times I should have died, almost died, um, did die, uh, but God wasn't done with me yet. He wasn't ready for me to uh, get my wings. He had other things for me here to do and as hard as this is for me to talk about, um, Addicts are people too. I was a person too, a really messed up person, a really lost person, a really broken person who did some really messed up things. Um, but they're people. Um, I'm somebody's daughter, so are they. They're somebody's son, they're somebody's father, they're somebody's sister, brother, aunt, uncle, um, father, mother. They're people. They're humans that have made bad, bad decisions, big mistakes, but that doesn't make them bad people. They're just lost, broken people. Um, and not, and that all being said, not all homeless people are addicts, um, but a lot of them are, or have mental, um, problems that are undiagnosed, untreated, whatever, what have you. Um, or maybe they're just fell on really hard times. Um, anyway, there's a huge homeless camp in my city, which is Spokane, um, as I'm sure there is in most medium to large cities everywhere. And, uh, they're doing a big outreach thing down there today. I'm going down. I don't know how many videos I'm going to make. I will make a couple short videos. I don't want this to be about what I'm doing. I don't want this to be about what the other people serving are doing. I want this to be about um, overdose awareness, recovery, reaching out, being better. My page is Beauty Inside Out. And um, like I said, I really didn't want to even video on these on on today. I didn't, um, but I prayed about it, and God basically said, "If you don't, who will?" Um, the people need to hear me, my story. The people need to see them, their story. People need to know that there is an amazing God who can change a life, one eighty from from darkness to light, from addiction and homelessness to recovery. I used to sleep under bridges. Um, and hang out in the homeless shelters in the same places and go and get free meals like they're giving out today. I was there. I was dirty. I was broken. I was addicted. Um, and I had a family in the same town, but I, at the time, was choosing addiction over them um, and uh, the streets over them. And I know that a lot of the same, a lot of the people down there are in the same situation. Maybe their families aren't in this city. Maybe they ran away um, from where they're from. Uh, Whatever their story is, um, God can change it. God can turn it around, and that's what today is about. That is all it's about. It's about God's glory. It's about God's grace. It's about God's healing ability, um, and that's what we're taking down there to them. We're also taking food. I'm bringing some um, Mary Kay products that are no longer uh, in our catalog. We no longer carry, so I'm going to donate those because... Every person deserves to feel beautiful and important and wanted and loved no matter what part of their life they're in, no matter what they've done in the past, no matter what they did today. God loves them and as Christians, we're called to love them and show them the love of Jesus. So anyways, that's my quick little spiel. This is my quick little eyeshadow look from our new palette. I know this is like 
cute eyeshadow dark theme um but anyways so it's purple vibes and golden possibilities so i used this one and this one okay i'm not doing too much makeup i just did my eyes i'm gonna do a uh, quick eyebrows and mascara i'm not trying to look all super fancy when i go down there i don't want them to feel um that i'm unapproachable or that i'm better than them or anything because i'm not i i was them part of me is them and always will be them um because of my past and I'm not um I'm not that person today but that person is still me I'm still that same person I was there and I need to be there to uh to show them there's hope there is life after addiction there is life after homelessness there is life through God and his redeeming grace he is a restorer of families um, when I got clean and sober, I had no idea how much my family was going to need me. My niece was going to need me. My parents were going to need me. I, I never thought anybody needed me, um, when I was in addiction. Uh, but God has showed me how loved I am, how needed I am. And, uh, those of us in recovery and those of us that are Christians need to show others in the darkness that it's possible. The light at the end of the tunnel that God can do all things it's not gonna be easy but it's gonna be worth it and uh, we can't forget where we came from we can't forget we can't just move on from our past and leave it behind turn the page and never talk about it again some people maybe need to do that for their own sobriety um, but honestly I feel like if your sobriety is that fragile you need to put a little bit more work into healing your hurts that got you there in the first place because the reason that I have my strength is from the Lord the reason that I have my strength is from working the 12 steps and leading 12 step groups of women and doing them over and over and over I did the celebrate recovery 12 steps I did the uh the second set of steps I've done them all multiple times I've led classes on them and taught other ladies and guided them through it and that's where true self-reflection and strength comes from, is from working on yourself with God's help. Because without God, I can do nothing. Through God, I can do all things. Literally all things. And He is my strength. And He is the reason that I'm doing this video and this YouTube and why I'm going down there today and why I'm going to allow you guys little bits and pieces. I don't know how much I'm going to video. I really don't. I don't know. I'm going to like kind of let the Lord and the situation dictate what and who and how much I video because I don't want anybody to feel uncomfortable or like I'm making a spectacle of their situation because that's not what this is about at all. It's about um, showing you guys where where I came from where God has brought me to today. Um, I'm not just this semi-pretty face in this semi-pretty house. Um, I am redeemed by the grace of God. And I'm a grateful recovering addict and I'm a Christian um, whose heart and desire is to reach out and seek and save the lost, to help those that are where I came from and where I was and to let people know that recovery is possible. Um, recovery is possible. Through all things, God is possible. Through God, all things is possible. So anyways, I'm going to end this video. I will do some more short clips um, there and after today in reflection. So this is a house that I used to hang out at and had friends that lived in back when I was in addiction. We're getting close to Camp Hope. That's what they call the homeless encampment here in my city. Um, but I just thought I'd put a personal touch and show you one of the places I used to couch surf at and store my stuff in a garage out back. This is some of the homeless camp. It might be kind of hard to see because I'm driving very slowly around it. But there's a bunch of people here at the camp. It's pretty large encampment. The city's given them um, some abandoned RVs and stuff from impound to live in, which I think is great. Um, but it's going to start getting cold soon, so hopefully they figure out some better housing for our homeless population. Okay, so I've got it mounted so I'm at least hands-free. Um, you can see the homeless camp up here on the right as we're pulling up. I'm going to get ready to go see where I can set up. It looks like they're setting up here in the field next to me. I just passed it. 
Okay, well, we're gonna slowly drive around the camp just really quick. Um, over on the left, there's a big uh, barn tent thing, and that's something that other people have set up as a cooling center for them, which is great. They got some porta potties for them. So hopefully, uh, hopefully we can just be the hands and feet of Jesus and serve these people not just food and some household supplies that I've brought, but um, love. Love is the most important part. Yeah. Knowing, them knowing that they're important. Them knowing that we care, that's what's important. So, anyways, here's just a little look at how they're living. They got some generators. I brought down a microwave uh, last week that a friend didn't need anymore and dropped off for some of them. They were very excited. So hopefully with the generators and that microwave, they're getting to put it to some good use. Here's my setup. I'm probably gonna have to edit this for audio later and then re-put my voice over it because of the music in the background. YouTube's probably gonna block it, but we got some dog stuff, waterproof jackets, dog coats, some toiletries, a bunch of uh, Mary Kay that I'm gonna give out. Pincers. Just my little way of helping. So that was so amazing. That was so good. It feels so good to be able to um, to love on other people, to pray for other people, to be in a group of people that's full intention is to glorify God, share the hope that we have in recovery, and um, share share the food and the drinks and the, the toiletries that I brought and just everything with the people who need it most. They need the love the most. They need the things the most. Um, it makes you feel so blessed. It, it kind of makes, it, it humbles you. It makes you feel almost ungrateful for all the blessings that you have and the complaints that you have on a daily basis. All the, all the tiny little problems, all the headaches, all the things that, that I let get to me on a daily basis and upset me and, um, and make me ungrateful. Uh, so it's a realization. It's a, it's an awakening. It's a humbling to to remember how bad I did have it and how great I have it now. Um, thank you God for that. Thank you Mary Kay for that. Thank you everything. Mary Kay's more than just products. It's so much more. It's a it's a God filled um, business. I'm part of a God filled community and unit of women, and uh, we do Bible studies together. We pray together. We build each other up and um, hold each other um, accountable. Not only um, in our walk with the Lord, but in, in, uh, our, our honor system and our golden rule in our business. Um, it's just, it felt super good to be able to, to give away those, uh, those makeup products and those personal hygiene products. And they were all just so excited and grateful to have them. Um, and I'm just, just blessed and grateful that I was able to do that for them. So glad I came.